folks, uh, <clears throat> I just thought I'd like to discuss just how many flamenco guitar techniques do you really need? There's many of us, we're not Spanish, we've not been brought up with the, with the style, with the music, and um, I'm certainly not a flamenco master, but I find it very interesting, very fulfilling to play. Um, I've made a living for 50 years at least plus by playing and teaching bass and most styles of guitar um, and since I've retired I've always wanted to get into flamenco always liked it ever since seeing Manitas de Plata in the, in the 1960s and then I've learned more about it and uh, since I retired I thought I don't want to do gigs with a band anymore and this is a complete kind of music it's a whole new game and you can whip up a storm all by yourself you don't need a band to play behind you all the rest of it anyway but when you look into it um, there are so many right hand techniques uh, it's absolutely mind-blowing um, flamenco players have over the years have developed just about every conceivable way that you can pluck or strum the strings with the fingers and thumb of the right hand. And loads of different ways. Now, lots of these techniques, there are so many, but, but many of them are just subtle differences. And the untrained ear won't really uh, see the big difference between these techniques. So, persons like myself and other non-Spanish people who have not grown up with it, um, we don't have, you know, I, I don't have enough years really to learn, left to learn so many different techniques and get really good at them. So, I figure you need some essentials, some essential techniques. A handful of essential techniques that you need to, to, to play in something like a flamenco style and to be able to express yourself. So, now looking at uh, Rachiado or Rascuedo, whatever you want to call it, is the various ways of strumming the strings. Now, there are so many ways of doing this, um, but if you just master a couple of things then you have it. So what I think you need with your strumming patterns you need without your little finger your fourth finger is weak is very weak right so lots of the books and videos they will show you to use that as your leading finger kind of you know going fine for a single strum but when you want to do it continuously over and use that on the beat it's quite weak now you see lots of top players not using it very much and if you use the three fingers going down and then your index finger coming back up you've got four strokes kind of machine gun kind of effect. Three fingers down, index finger back up to fill the gap. That gives you, when with the index finger coming back up, it kind of fills the gap ready for when you to start all over again. You, cut, you brought your hand back up into the starting position by doing that. So it works. Okay, so there's that one. Um, the other one, what you need as well, is a kind of a technique that will give you almost like a... Con this this is, has a kind of a rhythm to it, you know, four beats at a time. <laughs> In addition,
addition to that machine gun effect, you need something that's going to give you the, the, the illusion of a, of a continuous roll. Uh, I find that a bit more difficult. Now there's the triplet rascado, which I tend to do, is an upward thumb, then down with the third finger and down with the first finger. That gives you a kind of a triplet thing. Get that going fast and you've got... Now, you'll hear some master players doing something that's a really continuous flow. Um, this is, is in triplets and that's what I do. There is a triplet one where you go up with the thumb, then down with the finger and back up with the thumb, which gives a kind of a shaking. I haven't tracked a stat and I can't do it, so I, I use this one, which is a triplet. Instead of the coming down with your third and your first, you can come down with all your fingers. Starting with your, your, your fourth finger. And then up with the thumb and then... That's not bad. Again, I'm not brilliant at it. So, so you have your machine gun. And you have an attempt at a continuous roll. I think they're the essential strumming patterns that you need. Of course you need to use your index finger up and down like... like that is the index finger down and up that's just the index finger but then the second and third finger can join in with it on accents to hit it hard like There's that, um, with good rhythms, you know, you can do with your fingers, I, I do another kind of, a, just a rhythm. Down and up with the thumb, you can experiment with things like that. Um, I completely by accident have just developed, or, or it happened completely by accident, another kind of strum where I've gone down with my, uh, not using my little finger again, with these fingers and I'm, I've never seen it uh, mentioned before as a technique but I tend to, as my fingers come up around, I, I catch the strings on the way up again. So I'm going to kind of circular motion like that. and. Uh, drums. Um, obviously you must have a tremolo, which there's plenty of tutorial out there. Tremolo is tremolo. It takes a lot of practice to get it going good, you know, but... Uh, you need that. You also need forward arpeggio, backward arpeggio, and a double arpeggio, which uh, the forward arpeggio is, is backward arpeggio.
side's yours. Coming back. Now double up had yours. So that, that little combination there, I used a double followed by back arpeggios, doubles to begin with. And then, then when I'm doing the melody notes on the thumb, I simplify it by just using the back arpeggio. There's your arpeggios. Um, so, the other one is Piccato, which is just scale notes with the alternating these two fingers. You can do a finishing flurry by fanning down with your fingers and then following the thumb down. Or an upward thumb stroke to finish. Things like that. Um, now, Piccato takes a, a tremolo does too, but <coughs> it takes a lot of practice <coughs> excuse me, to, um, to get it really, really fast. And you see the masters doing these blindingly fast runs, and uh, it's not easy. It takes an awful lot of practice, but so I tend to cheat because I'm slowly getting better at my, uh, at my Piccato, but it's much easier to do very short burst than to do a whole long run uh, with it. Uh, so I can do uh, short pieces like I can do that fast but if you ask me to go all the way down I can't manage to keep the speed up. I can't do it, right? But what I have become good at <coughs> is legato, which is the hammer-ons and pull-offs. They're all mm, a lot of the speed from rock players has, has for many years has depended on this hammer-on pull-off technique and not actually picking every note. So. Uh, <laughs> instead of the piccato when you need speed. It's much easier to have speed with legato than it is picking every note. So therefore you can hardly notice but when I do this little little burst of fast piccato I rapidly merge into doing legato instead. <laughs> Probably something I've forgotten and missed, but as I said at the beginning, all I'm trying to say is if you get yourself a handful of basic techniques, you'll be able to express yourself and be able to play effectively without learning dozens of different subtleties of the same thing. If you've got just a couple, two or three main strums, uh, you've got your arpeggios, tremolo and uh, piccato, you've got ammunition there to actually just to play. Um, over time if you want you can you know add the other subtleties to it 
but as long as you've got uh, two or three strums that work plus your other essential techniques then uh, you can get into it you know and when you read books and see videos you can be think wow this is incredible because it is an incredibly difficult style and um, it's a whole new game for most rock guitar players and uh, so get a handful of essential techniques down and get playing. You can always add the other subtleties later if you think it's worth, worth investing the time. But if you're happy and able to express yourself with the handful of techniques that you have, you know, so be it. All well and good. Thanks for watching.